Hi everyone, it's Suzanne here. Today's card will be featuring the Flurry of Wishes stamp set. I'm going to be heat embossing uh, with clear embossing powder, the snowflakes from this set. I really love the snowflakes. They have a Celtic feel to me. Um, I, I've, yeah, they're just really beautiful. And they're unusual and I like that. So I am randomly stamping all over this piece of Whisper White. And of course I wanna get good impressions. So that's the reason why I'm stamping on my piercing mat. And just cause I don't get my piercing mat all ooky, I have a piece of scrap paper down. So I'm just randomly stamping, trying not to smear anything. And I am using all of the um, snowflakes. And you'll see what I do in a second. Basically, I'm going to be heat embossing with clear so that again, the white card will show through. And this is going to be another sponging technique just because I really enjoy sponging. You probably know that about me. So um, this, and just as a side note, if you're a client of mine, this is most likely the card. I haven't made a hundred percent decision yet uh, as I'm filming this, but um, it might be the card that I'm giving out to my customers, my clients. I have to make a lot of them. So anyway, um, I am stamping with, or sorry, inking with my dauber, Soft Sky, Lost Lagoon, and Island Indigo. I started with the darkest in the center. So Island Indigo, then to the edges, Lost Lagoon. And then in between each of the um, snowflakes, I have put soft sky. So I am really heavily inking it and I go back and forth and try a really nice blend. Doesn't matter if it um, you know, looks splotchy because I'm cutting it down into strips anyway. So this would be easily to be mass produced using a, you know, a large piece of whisper white and you know, stamping the snowflakes all over it then. Um, I'm using uh, Island Indigo for the, um, oh, no, yes, Island Indigo for the, the strip. And then, of course, I'm going to fumble with a silver bow. That's um, the 1 8 inch silver ribbon. And I stamped with Merry Christmas as well with Island Indigo, and that's that heavyweight cardstock, uh, the Whisper White. So I, I thought it lended really well to a nice, simple, I mean, it's just a simple, classy design, it looks really good, white against the blue. I think it would look good in purple too. So, you know, who's to say that uh, you couldn't use a non-traditional color as well. Finally, I get the bow done. Like, seriously, is that painful or what? Ugh. Why did I even leave that in? I should have cut it out. Sorry, guys. Okay, so dimensionals on the back. I'm basically, you know, because I was making one, I might as well make two. So that's the reason why you see two cards there. And then I put rhinestones in the middle of the snowflakes for a little bit of bling. As you know, bling is for Christmas. And this pretty much is my last card of Christmas Crush. Can you believe it? One more project tomorrow. I'll see you then.